、ありがとうございました。Welcome to another review. Today I'm at a place that I don't think I've ever、uh, taken you guys before.、Um, this bag doesn't really have a logo on it, but the place is called Gusto. Now, Gusto is a type of family style restaurant、um, that they have here in Japan. There are a number of them there's Gusto, there's Skylark,、um, there's Jonathan's, there's Royal Host. Even Denny's is considered a family style restaurant here in Japan. And the family style, by that, they kind of mean sort of westernized kind of food, like cheapish sort of food, I guess.、Um, how would I describe it? If you go to a Denny's here, you're not going to find pancakes, you're not going to find your Grand Slam breakfast and stuff like that. It's going to be like Hamburg steak. You know, you can get French fries here, but you can also get like calamari rings. Um, you can get curry rice, you can get、uh, stew, you can get、uh, some places you can get like tempura, stuff like that. But it's sort of a family kind of restaurant. Usually the cost is pretty cheap as well, so it's pretty popular. Now, Gusto is maybe the only family restaurant that I know of that kind of brags about having an actual hamburger. A hamburger. And you know I like doing hamburgers on my channel. Um, most of them have Hamburg steak, of course, but Gusto has a Gusto burger. So that's what I'm going to check out today. Of course, when you get it to,、uh, to eat in, it'll come on a plate. <laughs> but here they've given me a takeout container. So let me get into this thing. They even gave me a little, a little towelette I can wipe my hands with. Oh, it's warm too. Okay, so let me bring you in and show you exactly what we got on the Gusto Burger. You can see it's got a sesame seed bun. Let me just crack this.、Oh, okay. Now, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it's actually a teriyaki burger. And you can see there's the patty there. It's kind of a thickish sort of patty, almost like you would see in a Hamburg steak, which in fact it probably. Is one of their Hamburg steaks that they've thrown on a bun here. Underneath that, we've got some sort of mayonnaise sauce, shredded cabbage, tomatoes, and it looks like there's even more teriyaki sauce under that. So let's give this a try. That is the Gusto Burger, the Gusto Teriyaki Burger. Now, many of you know that I really, really can't stand the McDonald's Teriyaki McBurger. They use、uh, pork in that. This, however, is mostly beef. I'm saying mostly beef because I'm sure it's a blend of beef and pork. So、uh, let's give this a try before it drips everywhere. So, before we eat in Japan, we say, Itadakimasu.、Mm. Okay, I got a mouthful of bun there. It's got a A pretty decent sized bun. However, it's very sort of light. It, it's, not as, it's not like a Kaiser bun. It's, it's very kind of light and airy, which is nice. One thing I should have grabbed while I was in there was a lot of napkins. Luckily, I have some in my drawer here. Also, there's one more feature about this burger that I really like. I know it's kind of gross. I'm going to show you where I just bit off, but. If you can see inside there, right there, this is actually a Juicy Lucy. So, what that means, I'm sure most of you know already, but what that means is inside the patty itself, there's actually some cheese. Okay, so it's all melted and gooey when they, when they cook it up. And as you bite into it, it comes out. So, yeah. The only thing is, perhaps I should have ordered some fries or something to go with this. If you order this in the restaurant, I think it comes with a side of fries. But just as the burger, well, just for takeout, that's all I got. I gotta say, compared to McDonald's, <laughs> this is really good. A lot better. The teriyaki flavor is a little, a little more subtle. There's a nice, fresh, when I bite into it, I'm getting some nice, fresh tomatoes and things like that. This is pretty tasty. 
This cost, after tax, was 809 yen just for the burger. Japan has a weird system now. Um, they changed, they bumped up the taxes recently. And uh, if you dine in, you pay 10% tax, I believe. Um, but if you take it out, you only have to pay 8%, I believe. So they're very careful which menu you order from in there. And if you order it to go, they make sure that you go. So yeah, one thing about burgers in Japan sometimes, especially from family restaurants, is they do sell the, the hamburg steak a lot. That's their, it's basically like a personal size meatloaf in a way, right? They do sell a lot of those. There's even a family restaurant called Bikri Donkey. 99% of their menu is these little hamburg steaks. Um, the thing about that though in Japan is they got this mentality where they can take that Salisbury steak, that hamburg steak, and put it between a couple buns and call it a hamburger, which is kind of what they did here. Now, if it wasn't stuffed with cheese, I'd be, I'd have a bit of an issue with it. But with the cheese, I don't know. I can, I can forgive them for that. Um, it's pretty good, actually. Also, I think I got some footage of the menu. I was sort of scrolling through it. I uh, ordered it first in Japanese, but then I realized I could switch to English. I think when I hit the English button, I actually also went to the dine-in menu, but um, just take a look at this footage and you can see some of the stuff that I could have ordered. And this, these are sort of typical things that you can find at most sort of family restaurants. So if you want to see more stuff that they have in, in different family restaurants, I definitely recommend checking out Eric Surf 6's channel. I know a lot of you are already subscribed to his channel, but uh, when he goes to a family restaurant, I just ordered a burger, but he would order the burger, he would order maybe three or four sides, um, a dessert, at least one dessert, <laughs> um, a couple drinks. He'd just order a whole bunch, a variety of stuff to try. I do recommend if you're going to a family restaurant, I know now it's tough, but to actually go into the restaurant is a better experience than trying to eat it in your car. Um, also, when I went in there, the lady was so nice. She's like, oh, you're waiting for your order? Why don't you help yourself to a drink at our drink bar? Which is, is one of the main attractions at a family restaurant. They all have a drink bar. You pay, it's about 200 yen, about $2. They, you get a cup and you can fill up as much as you want. Bottomless drinks for as long as you're there. Anyhow, since I wasn't sure about ordering a drink to go, um, I decided to bring my own drink and I realized, even though I've shown you this on my Instagram, I haven't actually tried it in a video yet. This is the new, well, newish, <laughs> uh, white edition Red Bull. It's called Fresh Breeze. Now it came out here a month or two ago. I know you guys probably get different seasonal Red Bulls where you are. Let me know if this is the same flavor that you guys have, fresh breeze. So let's give it a shot. Hmm, has a sort of peach smell to it. Okay, I just wanna do another shout out to three more of my patrons. As you guys have followed my channel, you know that every so often I like to thank my supporters on Patreon by giving them a shout out and we say cheers, in Japanese we say kanpai. So here is kanpai to three more of my Patreons. The first is Nick Devera. Um, he actually has a YouTube channel as well where he tries a lot of Japanese snacks. So if you're interested in someone who's living in the US who often tries Japanese snacks, I do a lot of burgers and things. I haven't done as many snacks as I, <laughs> as I should, I suppose, but please go check out his channel. Um, I'll put links down below to all of these channels. And also the next one is Ryan Schneider Vlogs. You guys remember him. We've done some collaborations in the past. Well, we got some big news for him. I don't know if I should say it here or not, but if you want to see, you, you, you guys know Ryan, right? Like he is a trapeze artist. Um, if you want to go see a cool wedding proposal, I'll put a link and you can go check out his video over on his channel. I know a lot of you already follow him and you should. And the third person I wanna give a cheers to is Sean McConnell. Some of you may know him, some of you may not know him, but he is a really great guy. Maybe two months ago or so, he actually teamed up with Ken. Uh, I think it was lunch at a barbecue place, I believe. So I'll put a link to that video. You can check out 
He, he's been going through a bit of tough time. He's had a few operations and uh, you can find out more information. I'll put a link to that video. Um, but yeah, hang in there. And I just want to say kanpai to you three and cheers. Here we go. Mm. So it does have a peach flavor, but I would say it's sort of like a peach punch kind of thing. Um, I like it. It has a, it has a good flavor. Um, for those of you in Canada at Tim Hortons, I don't know if they still have this, but they used to have this sort of peach, peach fountain drink. Do you know what I'm talking about? The peach thing. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. It's peach, <laughs> but it's a little not peach. You know what I'm saying? It's a peach punch, I guess is what we would say. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I would definitely drink this over the flavor of a regular Red Bull, which I'm not really quite sure how to define that energy drink flavor. But yeah, it's very good. Now we only have this one size. Somehow Red Bull, the normal ones, they come in maybe three different sizes. Um, but the special editions, they only come in this one small size. Yeah, one more thing I just want to mention about the Patreon. Right now, we're kind of in the in the world. We're kind of in the middle of this this COVID thing, right? So as a result, um, most countries that I ship my rewards to have actually shut down their mail services. They're not accepting international mail. So as a result, I kind of had to switch off my Patreon. So for everyone who's a member, I'm sure you know this already, but you're still a member, but you're not being charged. You're kind of, you're, it's free to be a member right now is what I'm saying. So if anyone's interested in joining, uh, right now would be the time. You can go check out and see what we do over there. I'm not charging for anything, any level at all. So if you want to check it out, please come and join. Um, I will warn you when I switch it back on, okay? <laughs> it probably won't be for another month probably maybe two months, um, the rate we're going right now. Anyhow, this is the Gusto Burger. I really like the fact that it's a Juicy Lucy. I could care less if it's teriyaki or not, but they seem to do a decent job with it here. Um, I think, of course, I would have preferred to get some fries with it. Had I ordered it inside, I think it's an extra 50 yen or something. Um, you get a side of French fries. Of course, I could have just ordered French fries to go as well, but, uh, it's a pretty hefty burger. Um, it's more expensive than what you get at a fast food joint, but I'd say it's on the dial, it's maybe one, one notch above a fast food burger. The only catch is if you're coming all the way to Japan, I don't know if you want to have a gusto burger, you probably want to try a whole bunch of other different Japanese stuff. But for people living in Japan who want, who got a little, little itch, a little burger itch, um, I think Gusto, the Gusto Burger is actually pretty dang good. It will fill you up and it's pretty tasty. A little bit messy, but that's what we got this for. So I'm gonna finish this off. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.